Unity's pricing plan is actually really good. Well, not really, but let's start from the beginning. The first announcement. Unity started by explaining why they're changing their pricing plan. Basically, Unity have two main products that we use. One that you already know, the Unity editor when you make your game. And the lesser known one, it's Unity Runtime. It's basically like a capsule that helps ship your game. That is how users are able to install your games and play them on their devices. And with all of the lashback I started to think, should I start doing tutorials on Godot or Unreal? I'm also starting an indie game right now, and is it a mistake to do this in Unity? So I started doing some actual digging and calculating to see if the pricing plan is actually that bad. First of all, and I don't even know why I need to address this, if you don't make money from your game, you don't need to pay Unity anything. And they even bumped up the amount of money you need to earn to pay them something, from $100,000 to $200,000. That means that if you're not doing extremely extremely well you don't need to pay them anything and even if you do so you could just buy unity pro and then you need to earn 1 million dollars to start paying them something but we'll talk more about this later to make this video relevant for everyone we'll address three types of game paid games free games for a mac or console and free games for mobile we'll also compare this to the two main game engines everybody looks at right now godot and unreal the godot game engine although it's free for any use lacks a lot of things that unity and unreal has to offer and it's not an industry standard and the unreal plan is very simple above one million dollars you need to pay five percent of your earnings as you can see from this table above five dollars you're already paying less than five percent to unity the problem is that you need to start to pay above two hundred thousand dollars but just remember that before above 100,000 you needed to buy unity pro and now if you buy pro you need to pay above a million just like unreal and if you are worried because you're working on an indie game i really recommend seeing this video from code monkey that explains a lot better why indie game developers shouldn't worry about this. in short you're probably not gonna earn this much and what if i do like we have the best example of stardrow valley with a great number of downloads and a great number of money earned and that is something really good that unity actually did in this pricing plan making the number of downloads a variable here makes it that you can be funded in any amount like two million dollars and you don't need to pay a penny before your game actually succeeds and for a lot of indie game studio using kickstarter or indiegogo to fund their game it's the best way okay so paid games aside let's see what happens if your game is free to play let's look at the three most popular games i can find data on it's not the complete data but let's try to make sense of it the revenue i could find was a yearly revenue and the downloads was total amount of downloads so let's do a bit of multiplication to try to guess how much they am and let's calculate the percentage for the worst case scenario and the best case scenario and we can see that in both of them we are quite about the right place except for apex legends there might be something wrong with the calculation or the data or they might just not have a very good business plan in the upcoming weeks i will update the description with new info i can find about new games and those games too but in general we can see that with a good business plan it's not going to be a bigger problem than unreal engine and sorry but those games couldn't have been made in Gadot. And now we're getting to the biggest problem we have with the new unity hyper casual games are an upcoming genre that's going all over the world and really blowing up. I was really surprised to learn how much they make from these games, but they have a lot of downloads so it might cost them even more. From what I've seen, it's not gonna be a, that big of a problem for them, but in any way that it could be, they could just pull the plug on the game and upload a new one with different assets and different name and just make this work. That is because from what I've seen, the new Unity pricing is only per game and not per studio. And a lot of the hyper casual games are of an individual developer that made the game and are using a publisher to publish their game. And furthermore, a lot of the companies right now are talking with Unity to waive the fees because they're paying a lot of money for Unity Enterprise and Unity seems kinda corporate with this. I already heard about some companies that don't need to pay those install fees. But even from those companies and everyone else there was a huge lashback so Unity did a rethinking and got up with the second plan. And this time they did it way better. First of all, you don't have to use a new plan you can just use the old plan with the old version of unity and you're fine but if you do want to use the new version of unity you do need to use a new plan and the new plan now it's a lot better they are giving you a choice by using the pay per install or pay 2.5 percent of your earnings and if we we'll look on the table from earlier we'll see that in most cases Paying for installs is a lot cheaper than paying 2.5% and it's half of what Unreal asks for. If you want to learn more about this, there is a one hour live stream of everything you need to know and a bit more than that. Just some Q&A with a person from Unity. So in conclusion, the main part I've got from this is that people don't read anything to its fullest and don't do their own calculations before telling that something is really bad. I didn't see a single person talking about the fee reduction for the Unity services and plans that we currently use and no one even mentioned that they are giving you a cloud-based asset management, a role access, 
AI systems and a lot more free for use. So of course it's not perfect and it does need to change and it's maybe not the best but there are a lot of aspects of this. Do your own research before you decide to change to something else. And remember if you want to work in game development there are many engines that are not very popular so you might not find a job in them. But in any engine you choose you can check this video to see what are the steps that you need to take in order to get your first job as a game developer. See you there! Bye!